Thanks, Melanie. Well, today we're talking with author Silly Williams about his new book, The Makings of a Champion. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hey, thanks a lot, Kelly. Uh, thanks for uh, having me on the show, and good morning to everyone in uh, Albany. Well, we're glad to have you, and so go ahead, tell us about your book. Well, okay, the book is more like an inspirational book, um, but not necessarily inspirational from the aspect of just only the stories that I share about myself. But uh, I, I wanted to make the book to where it actually kind of uh, it highlight things in a reader's personal life. You know, maybe they overcame, you know, personal, uh, maybe neighborhoods that they grew up in that kind of was stereotyped, or maybe they overcame bad relationships that they were currently in, or even they might have removed themselves from maybe abusive parents or whatever situation that they uh, can mirror themselves in. But to look at those as individual wins that quote unquote champion moments in their life. Uh, but to even take it a step further to understand that all those events kind of came together to push them into the purpose of life. Um, um, I can say in, in my personal journey that I can uh, look at life and say if some uh, things that I would have categorized as unfair or uh, moments that I didn't want to take place, if those didn't, th those events didn't take place in my life, I would have never been able to uh, know what I was made of or know I'd be able to overcome situations or even to open up other doors of opportunity. And that's what the book does. And that's why I really titled it The Makings of a Champion, uh, to really understand that all these things collectively came together to make you a winner. Um, and I believe that uh, personally, God has put all uh, everything in us to make us a winner. But it's all about the way that you look at it. It's all about your perception. And so what the book does, it gives people a different uh, to look at things that would have categorized as setbacks, uh, to look at those are doors of opportunity. That's great. And some so a wonderful perspective, a wonderful way to look at things, definitely. And so the, the tagline here, it says, 13 steps that will revolutionize your life. How did you come to discover those in your own life? As you were saying a little bit earlier, it's just kind of this huge journey that you came through. Well, basically what it is is that those steps, um, I kind of highlight it. Uh, maybe, uh, I'm not even, there could be, there are things that most people even have, have known before, people who have said before, like for example, one of the titles is Stepping Outside of Your Comfort Zone. Everyone says that, but I really, uh, in that, I try to uh, mirror a lot of my personal situations. Um, I realize that sometimes people can tell you to do things, but if they don't necessarily give you instructions or even, or even look at their life as examples, it's kind of hard to see it yours. So I use those as steps that I said to revolutionize because that's exactly what it did for my life. And I believe that if people will apply those to their life in the same way that I did, um, it will most definitely revolutionize and change their life as well. That's very helpful. I know a lot of times, like you were saying, you know, people can say to do something, but you wonder, well, how? How do I do that in my own life? So that's wonderful. Now, what is the first step that you've mentioned in your book? All right, so the first step I mentioned, which is the first chapter, which is get up early. Um, I believe that if you set yourself up, uh not necessarily in the aspect of waking up early so much, but to actually start to speak positive things over your life. Uh, what I like to do in the morning and when I get up, I like to say things like I'm more than a conqueror. I like to say that I'm going to win. I'm going to be victorious. Because if I've already set the atmosphere of that I'm going to win, when situations come up in my life, I'm already equipped to overcome those things because I've already spoke those things into an existence in my life. And I believe that uh, one of the things people will miss is that sometimes, you know, we like to talk in and we don't necessarily uh, recognize the words that we say, but kind of grab control of the words that you're saying and, and understand that you can kind of set the course of your life. You can't necessarily predict every event, but you can choose how you will be able to respond to them. And I believe it all starts with what you're saying. Very good. Well, we sure do appreciate you telling us all about your new book this morning. Again, it's The Makings of a Champion. You can go to sillywilliams.com for more information. And uh, we sure do appreciate you. We hope that you have great success with your book. All right. Thank you, Kelly, for having me. You guys have a great day. All right, we're going to be back in just a little bit. Stick around.